American Special Forces gave the world's number one terrorist a one-way ticket to hell. In their crazed thirst for power, the Democrats are trying to tear our country apart. First, Democrats engineered the Russia hoax, the most egregious fraud ever foisted upon the American people, the Russian hoax. Then they did the Mueller scam. You remember that, the Mueller scam. Two years and they said nothing. And then Mr. Mueller testified. That was a wonderful day for me. These people are crazy. But the media and the Democrats have launched an even more brazen assault on our nation with a deranged, hyper-partisan impeachment witch hunt. Impeachment. Think of it. So today, we just hit the highest number in the history of the stock market, and that's hundreds of days. 19 minutes after I took the oath of office, the disgusting Washington Post, look at all these people back there, look. Fake news media, it's the fake news. Mitch refused to cave to the left-wing mob. And that's what it was. It was a mob. Well, thank you, Mr. President, for making America great again. Rand Paul, your senator, a great warrior. We also now know the name of the whistleblower. The whistleblower needs to come before Congress as a material witness because he worked for Joe Biden at the same time Hunter Biden was getting money from corrupt oligarchs. I say tonight to the media, do your job and print his name. We can't let our country go back to hell. We can't do it. We can't let it happen. Because the Bidens got rich while America was robbed. And let me tell you, the fake news will not put it in. I watched the last debate, and this weakling named Anderson Cooper saying, well, it's totally unsubstantiated. Mr. Biden, it's totally unsubstantiated. What's unsubstantiated? He is on tape doing a real quid pro quo. But under this administration, the great betrayal is over. America is not for sale. And we're more determined than ever to drain the swamp. And that's what we're doing with these crazy people. A lot of bad things happened and a lot of bad things I think are going to be revealed. For years you watched as your politicians apologized for America. Remember? He go around, oh, thank you so much. He wouldn't apologize to you, but he apologized to others. Now you have a president who is standing up for America, and we are standing up for the people of Kentucky. We support, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. We stand with the incredible heroes and warriors of law enforcement. We believe in the dignity of work and the sanctity of life. We believe that faith and family, not government and bureaucracy, are the true American way. We believe that children should be taught to love our country, honor our history, and always respect our great American flag. Our allegiance is to our nation, our loyalty is to our citizens, and our devotion is to our Creator. For the sake of our freedom, for the sake of our children, 
We are going to keep on working. We are going to keep on fighting. And we are going to keep on winning, winning, winning. We are one movement. We are one people. We are one family and one glorious nation under God. America is thriving like never before. And ladies and gentlemen of Kentucky, the best is yet to come.